Yeah. We have no room for profit, simply because we have no room for, we are not discussing the will for profit in, in Britain. Britain is well, it was well designed, is based in win for profit, profit, extra profit, and then we share between consumers and between shareholders. In the case of Spain, in our case, it was just the opposite, because we have already sold our electricity previously at a certain fixed prices, and because we are not able to produce as much electricity demanding with our own sources, we need to be forced to buy electricity from third parties or produce electricity with fossil fuels more expensive than those one we produce with our traditional sources of hydroelectric or wind or whatever. And I think that deteriorates our PL. So the fact that our accounts in Spain is 90% less profit than it was previously. I think that at the global group we have 12% more because in Britain, United States, in Brazil, the things were, uh, the results were very good. But I think in particular case in Spain, we are just because we simply, we have not win for profit. It's not true. But do you think that the government in Spain is understanding your side? Well, I, I, I think we explain is that they have to take the decision. I think we explain that they, if they decide to move in this direction, we have to defend the interests of our shareholders. And that is what we are doing. It's not new. I think it's, uh, we will continue defending the interests of shareholders. With the third decision is not, we consider it's not already properly done. Now, I would also like to look at some of your potential expansion plans because I, I saw that your profits in America actually increased. You have made recently comments on how the Inflation Reduction Act is quite supportive to your business as well. Do you plan to perhaps grow further in America in the coming years vis-a-vis -vis in Europe? So the first thing the RA uh, is, is improving a lot of things, but it's not a, a big change on that one, I think. The tax credit and the support to renewable exists in the Obama time. So I think that what is providing now is predictability. I think normally the, uh, uh, the tax credit were revised in an annual basis. Now they gave a framework 10 years. So means that we can already spend money in our development for future investment, knowing that we will have potentially access to the tax credit. So the second thing, they open the, the numbers of people we can already provide the tax credit toward before. So at the same time, they are already offering possibilities, generating, let's say, certain demand in the green hydrogen, transport, etc. But globally, I think it was not a big revolution. Our decision for us, I said, for our decision of investing roughly 50% of our total 47 billion that we present in November last year was not based in the RA. It was based in our needs up there. So, uh, more 80 percent of our business is regulated in the United States, is transmission and distribution. And I think the demand of regulators is more investment in the grid, so we are, we are already providing a, a, a service, and we have already, as provider of the service, we have to make this investment. And the second is already renewable, but renewable, they were already in track, it was no new ones. So whatever you're going to make up to 2025 was already a desired plan independent of the RA. For the future, Certain we will analyze this thing and that will help. But I would like to say something which is listening now by President Timmerman in, the, in this conference. I think Europe has been ahead of this one. They are raising welcome, it's a good news. But Europe has already made the next generation you provide as much fun, even more, than the American is going to provide.